Okay, so you're looking in on a foreigner living in the Philippines, and this is my wife Beth, Hi. and she wants to talk about. Uh, well, we thought it would be good uh, and of interest to, for her to talk about her reasons for marrying this old fart that she's now married to. So, <laughs> Beth, what made you decide that you would marry a foreigner, especially this foreigner? <laughs> Actually, when I was, uh, I think when I was a teenager that time, I always, it's already on my mind, you know, because I, I la, uh, when, I, when I was in Cebu that time, I saw a lot of child, you know, half, half, ch uh, half foreigner, half Filipino, and they really, the result is really great, right? So, so when I look at, uh, when I saw some child, I said, oh, my my i'm going to marry the foreigner because of that reason oh you know? really <laughs> just because of that reason that they're really cute you know the result of the next marriage so but i also heard about some stories about marrying foreigners that uh sams are is real uh it's an advantage of the filipina to marry the foreigners because it's it gives security you know security yeah yeah it gives security <laughs> At the same time, stable when it comes to uh, when it comes to uh, life, you know, right? Stable. Uh, yeah, in, stable. In what way? In in a way that uh, because mostly is we admit that the pe uh, the dollar is uh, bigger than the peso, you know. So if, if yes, by about forty eight times at yeah, the moment. Yeah, forty eight times at the moment now, <laughs> which is good for us. You know, because uh, if you, uh, even if that foreigner is not rich in other country, when they arrive in the Philippines, his category is rich, right? Which brings you <laughs> to <Yeah>. me. <laughs> <laughs> so because category. I am certainly not rich, yeah, so yeah. that everybody knows um, I have an extremely modest uh, pension. Uh, we can't live on it, but uh, certainly we have modest life yeah we have we have problems with money just the same as everybody else yeah yeah so i think that's one of the reasons for it's the security you know so it came it crossed my mind that uh maybe one one day i'll i'll, I'll choose to marry the foreigner and so when you were a teenager these are the thoughts you were yeah, having when you were a first, teenager the first reason when i was a teenager if i married a foreigner for the one reason you know to have a beautiful child because of what I saw with the other I see. Uh, woman, you know. Now it has to be said that in the Philippines uh, the whiter, lighter skin is considered beautiful. the most beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And before before people in the West start thinking that this is uh, a racially motivated thing, uh, just ask yourself if you are within driving distance of a, a, a tanning salon. <laughs> So, just as my wife loves to have her lighter skin and she stays out of the sun, I would be inclined to sit in the sun and get a nice tan. Yeah, so yeah. I end up the color that she would like to leave behind. She wants the color that I am, I want the color that she is. <laughs> so when you say security, is that only um, about financial security? Are there any other ways of looking at security no yeah it's financial security at the same time as what i heard and uh others uh, foreign uh, filipino who married foreigner some of my friends who's their aunties or their cousins married with a foreigner they, they said to me that uh, most foreigners are you know level uh they're uh thoughtful to, to their aunties or their their wives you know so they're more loving when it comes to uh, when it comes to their partner so no so so that the foreigner generally has a better reputation in his dealings with women yeah that's what that's what some of my friends that time when i was a teenager and, and at the same time you know uh i have you know the influence like some some women some women uh, some married woman with a filipino said oh don't marry with a filipino they just they're just always drunk no no you will not be you will not be secure you know that's that's what other Filipino uh, that what other married Filipina did to, uh, 
talk to uh, talk, talk to the younger, you know. That it so it's that kind of security of yeah. the relationship itself. The relation, yes, yes, and it's same aside, aside from the security, or financial, you know, because there are some Filipinos now men that are drunk and a lot of vices, drugs, uh, drunk, smokers, you know. So that's the time that I inclined. Oh yeah, yeah, pass. There's possibility of that, you know. So, but not general, not all general. I don't want to specific and uh, generally address to the Filipino because there's still a good Filipino man, you know, who are responsible, who are uh, loving to their wives, who made their, uh, who made everything to support their family. So I salute to those Filipino men, you know, who who neglect biases, you know, neglect other other uh, uh, what do you call that? Uh, some Addiction? Yeah, addiction. Just to make their uh, family secure. So, so just generally, you're really saying that um, while there are good Filipino men, um, the, the problem of how Filipino men generally are perceived in handling or mishandling alcohol yeah, yeah. was a big uh, factor in yeah, your yeah, deciding. Yeah, because if, if, you're a, if, you're, if your job is for a Filipino man and your job is just a minimum wage and then you drink, you 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 smoke, what else what how much money would you left to for your family, you know? So because there are that's the reason also some that some marriage failed, you know? Yes. But I don't want to address it generally because as I said, there's still a good there's still a lot of good Filipino men, you know. Yes. But so, anyway you preferred you prefer to uh, the the whole thing of a foreigner in just the same way that I preferred to have uh, Asian beauty. Yeah. I mean, that appeals to yeah, me more. I don't make any uh, generalizations yeah. about about Western women other than I prefer the look of of the Asian woman, yeah, which yeah. is so in which is own, why I love in you. The, it's only in my own views, you know, that I prefer the a foreigner, you know, when I when I more mature when it comes to thinking about security, about you know, so that's how it is. So and then you came into my life. So, but before I still I have some boy I have some boyfriends with who is Filipino, but it didn't work. So uh, as destiny comes, you know, and that's that's the time when you came into my life. So. Uh, it's it's very obvious to anybody looking in on it when we're together, when we're in on camera together, that I'm a great deal older than you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, even though, when people ask you uh, or ask me how old is my wife, and I say 27, I always follow up with, and I'm 28, so that we don't have to get into endless discussions on age and the age difference. How do you handle that question? When people ask, how old is your husband? I always said, as I, as I said in the previous videos, that I always said just enough, you know. So you and say he's enough. Yeah, he's enough. And I think the, it's only my own reason that I don't want others to comment, you know. It doesn't mean that I'm not, I'm not proud of my husband, you know. It doesn't mean like that, that I'm not proud of you. But I just don't want any comments that would affect you know, and would give them a chance to to give gossip, you know, to make negative comments that with that also uh, gives them a to, uh, brings them into a made a negative comments that is not good. You and know, then you get they... into the same conversations that I would get into, uh, which I'm not interested in doing, um, and so we we handle uh, this situation together yeah, yeah. in a very similar way yeah yeah so, so but then but how did you how did you handle the age difference how did you reconcile that because people always do the math and say yeah. well um he'll you will only be this old when he um uh, kicks the bucket yeah that's one of the problems uh, that's one of the concern also that Either said that oh you at the at your when you arrive at the age of that forty or fifty possible your husband is already gone you know that's one of their 
there are there questions that they address to me. You know? And that's a that's a fair question. Yeah, it's a fair question. And I said, yeah. Uh, but I think my husband will live until 130 years old. So, and besides, I don't know when did I will when did my life end up. You know, so all of us doesn't guarantee when did we left this world. You no, know? so that's right. I just told them that yes, I'm he's older than me, but we live every day as as if it's uh, yeah, our last. Uh, yeah, as if it's our last. <laughs> you know, like oh. The, because by that you will live, you will love, you will enjoy, you will enjoy your edge of the company, you know. So, and besides, I think I. They asked me why you prefer, uh, why I preferred an older foreigner, you know. That's the que that's the common question. So we're in. There's a lot also is younger, uh, Pili uh, foreigner who wants Filipina, and I told them that I preferred an older than me because their mind is more uh, stable, <laughs> you know, and it's, it's like that, that they're more on, and uh, they're not, uh, as, as I, it's only my own opinion, that they're not womanizer, you know, right. they're just take to one. But from what I've seen as a foreigner, being honest, um, lots of the foreigners that come over here, that's really all that they're interested in, is womanizing. Uh, but then they're based usually for their uh, their enjoyment in bars and the kind of women that they uh, would meet in bars are usually yeah, yeah. Uh, are usually uh, very willing so so that's something that is a factor as well did you not think of that that perhaps I might have been into uh, bars or I could have been into drugs or drink or smoking did you make sure that that was not so yeah i at first i always i always comprehend you you know of how you behave how you and it asked you uh, from the very beginning asked you do you have some biases uh, smoking drinking drugs or anything and you said no and i said oh maybe in time when you know that person when i know step by step knowing you more throughout your life but there is just one thing that makes me think makes, makes me decide that Oh, this this cannot be working, you know. When when I bring you here in our place, remember to Bahal. We yeah, were in we were in so so people know uh, we were in uh, Cebu, and we came. You you brought me home yeah, yeah. to meet your mom you bring, and your family. Yeah, and then because I'm working that time in Cebu, so I bring you here to meet my parents, to meet Nana and my other siblings, you know. So. From Cebu, we just only it, there's a two others we can uh, we can get uh, we can get from Cebu to Bohol, going to Tagbilaran, which is the city, or going to 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 Bigon, which is another town, big town, you know. And there's a lot other uh, some big boats, but I prefer to bring you out to when to uh, go uh, bring you from Cebu to Hitafe, which the boat is very small. It's just a uh, uh, fishing boat, you know. It's a plywood boat yeah, with plywood the huge boat. outriggers. Yeah. So when we when we went to the port of Cebu and I said this is the boat and you said, Wow interesting, you know. So I said I said to my mind when I heard that from you, I said, Oh he's going to be it seems it's going to work because you have the same mindset on mine, you know, you're not you're you're not uh, being afraid of, you're not being superior, you're not being uh, afraid of trying things. Yes, know? well, we have to say that you'd heard other foreigners' reactions to those that same small boat, and and they were not nice. Yeah, yeah they're not nice. And I have also a friend who uh, who uh, who bring her her uh, his partner, his uh, boyfriend her. in the other island of uh, Cebu. And then the, somewhere in one of the island in Cebu, and he just brought a uh, bro, uh, brought her, uh, his partner in a small boat because the same transportation as ours. And then his foreigner is getting nasty, nasty. So she shared that to me, and I said, "Oh, don't, don't continue." <laughs> you know. So that's how it is. Yes. So that's that's one of the things that makes me realize and makes me decide to marry you. You know. <laughs> But I think that people watching this video might say, yes, but 
you're a lovely young woman and uh, and Terence is uh, is certainly not uh, a lovely young man um, how how did you how did you perceive him me when you first saw me I think uh, yes and be honest yeah be an I'm honest <laughs> yes you're older than me you know I'm young and you're older as as we know you know <laughs> but I saw a characteristic I saw an attitude of you that I think it makes me realize that this is the man I spent for the rest of my life you know this is the man that uh, I will I will live out I will live every every day of my life you know because you're honest you know you're honest you're loyal to me and you love me you know but Not how did you me, how did you know this when when we met how did you make that that assumption what did I what did I what did I say what you said to me that time that you're only looking for one woman you know and that woman you will respect you will love for the rest of your life and you're not looking for many women so that makes me that makes me think that you're a loyal person you're you're a loyal man so aside from that is the another things that makes me more uh decided to marry you is you respect my family you love also my mother as as, as you said that you want uh, you love her you love her as your real mother so it's a big factor to me yeah how did you know i was telling the truth i saw on your eyes you saw that i saw on your eyes the sincerity you know and i think you just have your what what do you call uh, what do you call that the woman's instinct yes so i'll trust my instinct that you tell the truth and I know that when you talk, there's a sincerity, there's a truthfulness of all of the words that came out on your mind, of your mouth. So that's how it works to me, you know. And besides, I pray. That's the that's the one thing that I am holding on that God will give me the man that will not betray me, that will love me and loyal to me, and that's the man that I will spend for the rest of my life. Right. No, now, no infinite, infinity, you know, infidelity. So can, can I say that at one time, before you met me, you went online. Yeah, yeah. You went online to an online dating site, mm -hmm. which, which, uh, which brought foreigners. Yeah, yeah. And so, in fact, didn't you put your, didn't you put your profile on and have over a thousand yeah i have over a thousand messages that time <laughs> so i have over a th i think a thousand message and most majority of the message is a crap you know a garbage so, no. so you were quickly able to yeah i was you out. i was quickly able to know who is the who is telling the truth you know so that's how it is i've been i after my graduation because you know some other women friends of me also doing site you know the, the dating site because like me they also want to have a stable you know security even we already finished in college and have job we don't want to we want to have us when we come up into a farm when we build a family we don't want that what we what we experienced before our children can experience so that's what we decide to go online so my friend uh, my other friend registered me for dating online dating site I don't know about it and then she registered me because she has a boyfriend also in that from that but she's she's ending up with a Filipino oh that's funny <laughs> yeah that's funny but she's happy they're happily married so that's how it is uh, I I got a thousand messages but it's in, in not in just a day but I think in a few months you know if you gathered it all uh, together and majority of that is a craft always been very not not good right. um, so that's how it works to me so but here's here's the tough question right <laughs> oh i'm scared for that huh? <laughs>
Was there an element of settling for me? I think not. Did you, did you think, well, well, he's an old guy, or, but the best, the best part is that I think he will be secure and all of that. Whereas any, any young woman can be forgiven for wanting a handsome young man. And you could be forgiven too. So, how come you settled for this man? <laughs> Did you settle for this man? Did you say, well, not so good, but maybe I'll learn to love him? Was there any element of that? <laughs> <laughs> come on now, now you have to be honest. You wanted to do this interview, now you have to be honest. Razor, okay. I was in a when we met when, when I met you that time I was in a broken relationship you know it's it's painful to me because I thought that that guy is the one you know we had we have a, we share dreams you know and I admit I was uh, at the time I met you I was I was totally broke you know so I was you in, want, I was did in you the, meet me on the rebound then. Not in the rebound, you know. I was, I was, I was in the low point of my life that time. So when when you arrive on my life, it makes me start up uh, going back into normal life, you know, where no more out the tears is, you know, when you it's like a water a tears of water that you says why what why why what men are like that why when you trust a person they will always broke your heart so when you met when I met you 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 give me a hope that not all men are just there to broke a heart of women so, so some some people that are watching this might say that I took advantage that you were vulnerable no it's not that I'm vulnerable that time I'm I'm just on the point where I, I'm not ready for the relationship and I'm not ready to build a relationship that time. But then when, because I'm in the low point of my, of my, of my life that time, but you came up and you say, and you, you show me that, uh, you, you love me, you show me that you love me and, uh, you respect me and you show that you're a good person. And by that time, I told you, you remember you asked me when, when we were in our, I think, a week, uh, month of relationship, I said yes to you, and you said, what great I am when it comes to one to ten, <laughs> and I said, <laughs> and I said to you, don't be, don't be, don't be angry, or don't be upset, but you're just four, right, one to ten. When we just, met, I was just a four. Yeah, I was, <laughs> you're just a four. <laughs> This is a very sobering thought. <laughs> yeah, you just, I, I tell you, I'm honest. I was just four, but then when, before we got married, you asked me again. Remember when, you, when we decided to get married, you asked me what, great, what, what rank I am now on your, on your life, on your mm -hmm. heart. And I said to you, you're nine. I was right? a nine? Yeah, oh, yeah. I still wasn't a ten then. Because the, ten, the one person is just on the marriage life, you know. So that's how it is. So I'm still only just a nine then. Na yeah, yeah, you're a nine the time. Now it's your nine point two now. Nine point two. Ah, <laughs> so. So I so still I'm, have some work to do. So then. as I, what I said, you're not you're not uh, taking advantage the time because yes, I'm the I'm on the low point of the time, but I always I think the one thing that I hold on the time is I'm always praying. You know that I could serve us. You know, because I know every man, every man or every woman who got into a broken relationship, where you seems that you in the garbage time or you in the low point. Whatever you think, it's always been sad. You know, when you're in out of your friends or your or your family in in the front of them, you're happy. You're okay. So, here's the next tough question: Have you ever had any second thoughts? <laughs> Get uh, out of that. Second thoughts about um of having you, of marrying you. Mm -hmm. I think it's normal, you know. I think it's normal for every 
every woman or every man if they're going to go on that stage of their life to get married because married is not just like a food right it's just like a food that if you don't like you can throw it out you know it's a commitment it's a lifetime commitment and on me when I'm I, when I said it's a commitment, it's, it's, it included that you're not betraying your partner, you're loyal to the, you're loyal to him or her. So that's how it is. Yes, I have a second thought at that time. That, that did it work? Did it? Did it? Is it? Is it the right decision that I made? You know. But uh, I say, <laughs> but since I I still do it, you know, I still do because. I saw the characteristic of a man that I will be able to spend for the rest of my life in you. So, yes, I have a second thought, but now I'm, I have no regrets. I am happy and we're still, we're happy and we're, we're continuing living, each, uh, living in the life of full of love and trying to work out on a marriage relationship, you know. And trying that in time comes, in God's time, God gonna be the blessings that we 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 look are uh, we waiting for the green and the white and the mix the result of the mixed marriage which is the beautiful <laughs> daughter or handsome son yeah. so that's what it is okay now I have one one last question which is not an easy one <laughs> I always get red we we are spiritually we are greatly differing in yeah. the way that we believe. Now, I but yes, I believe in in a creator, but I don't believe in quite the same way as you because you are. Yeah, I'm a born again Christian. I'm 27 now, and when I was at the womb of my mother, they are converted into a born again. So yes, it's one of the concern of our relationship that you have different views when it comes to religion. And I have different views when it comes to God, you know, of looking at it. And in fact, <laughs> in fact, I was being the other night at the at the uh, overnight prayer in the other island gathering. And one of my prayer requests is for your salvation. I mean, I told you that. <laughs> I told you that, that and one of my prayer requests is for your salvation. And you laugh. <laughs> you laugh about it. But, yeah, uh... I respect you, I respect your belief, and you respect my belief, in fact, you're helping, you're helping the, ch uh, bring up the kids, you get, uh, we pick up the kids in the other barangay, and also the kids here, to go to church every, every Sunday, you know, by this help of this truck, so thanks for all the donors who made it. <laughs> so, yes, I th one, one of the issues that we have before is the religion, you know because you always tell me about your belief and I said Han, one in a time because I can't easily understand it I can easily absorb it but at the end of the day I respect your I respect your religion I respect your views about it and in fact if I have some sermon in the church I always ask you your advice you know about your viewpoints about this aspect so, so what you just to make it clear what you're really asking for is uh, my interpretation that in the English of what the Bible yeah, yeah. has been teaching and I went for several months I went every day while you were at work in, and we lived in Cebu yeah. and I studied at the Bible study center so that I would know what I was talking about yeah, yeah. so from that point of view when you want to uh, give uh, a talk to anyone well to talk at one of the services or to children uh, I am able to help you to interpret yeah, some interpret of the great the, Bible the, stories like the meaning about it yes like the Good Samaritan and uh, you know all stuff like that so I'm I'm able to help in that way uh, yeah. the, the only difference is that I don't believe in in God in quite the same way as if he is uh, my favorite um, a little bit irreverent example is that I don't believe that God is like the grandfather in the Waltons which you probably have never seen the Waltons but that was a 
um, a, a family show in America for, for many years and all over the world, the Waltons. And the grandfather in the Waltons was a grand old man and sometimes I think that that's how you think of the Lord. No, I, I, but I, I don't. I just, in my, in my own belief, is God the Father or God Jesus Christ. You, you, that's how I believe that you can only save if you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. And because He's the only way, you know, that you can be saved. So really, I'm, I'm doomed. <laughs> I, <laughs> there's no, no two God ways is, of getting God is the greater, great, God is wonderful, God is great, God is, is the one who made us. So, and we, we can only save if we do things that uh, bring glory to Him. Well, so far I'm not coming off too well in this. I started off as a four, um, and I'm still only a nine point two, uh, and I'm never going to be saved. So, <laughs> no, I think uh, I, I'm going to have I, I have a lot of work to do. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But you're praying for my salvation. Yeah, yeah, I pray for your salvation. In much the same way that I'm praying, I'm praying that you for will my wake up. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah 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 uh I think we're st we're we're working on on both of us that after this life we will be together in heaven that's for sure yes you know, whatever whatever wherever heaven, your belief is wherever my belief is whatever heaven is yeah, yeah we still sake, we're we still hoping be there. that at the end of this life we met in the the heaven and live life there Okay. Well, it's quite possible, you know, that uh, when you get to heaven, you'll, you'll meet a 10. Uh. <laughs> and, and this old 9.2 is, is not going to have any uh, say in it. So, I'm not holding my spiritual breath on that. <laughs> so, yeah, so hope you're going to like, comment and subscribe.